Hi friends, it's getting to be that time of year for the holidays. And while there's lots of services out there to create your Christmas cards, you might not know that Microsoft Word has a lot of templates built in. They're easy to use and they're totally free. So let me show you how to get started. Here I am in Word with New selected and lots of templates available. So let me just search for online templates here. I'll type in Christmas cards, enter, and you'll see lots of things coming up here. Just to give you a little bit of a scroll through. If you click on any of these, it'll give you kind of a short description of what's in here. So this one, you can add a photo. It includes instructions and it prints two per page. Let me just start this one to show you what that looks like. I'll zoom out a little bit here. For this particular one, you'll see it is two pages. So it's gonna depend on how comfortable you are with your printer. Your printer will either need to be able to print front and back by itself, or you'll need to manually flip the pages. If that sounds way too complicated for you, I'd recommend staying away from these. Maybe choose something simpler. So back to new. I'll search again here. Maybe we go with something like this, that's just a single page, but you can play with these, see which ones work best for you based on the pictures you wanna add or the message you wanna add and so on. Let's create this one. Now all of these templates are gonna contain instructions on how you swap out the pictures or messages or whatever the case may be. For this one, it says to change the image, double click in the header. So the header is gonna be up here. I'll just double click. And then it says single left mouse click to select the image like that. And then right mouse click, come up to fill, which is this right here, the paint bucket here. And then down to picture. So basically we're saying we wanna change out this picture with a new one. So we'll insert a picture from a file. I have one on my laptop, so I'll select this. Here we go, picture of a woman and a cat. This is what my Christmas card would look like and then insert, and there you go. Now you might notice that that's a little bit squished. For this particular template, it's looking for a photo that's square, so the same height and width. Not all of the templates are gonna have the same issues with sizing of pictures. Now you could use something like Photoshop or Paint or other software, but you can also do it right here in Word. So let me just show you that really quickly. I'm gonna come up and create another new document, just a blank document this time. Let me go find that picture. Here it is, Christmas photo. So you'll see it's a rectangle shape now. We need it to be square. I'll just drag it over to Word. And if you click on it, or double click on it actually, that'll bring up your picture format tab up here on the top. And you'll see the height is 4.33, the width is 6.5. So we need to get the height and width the same, at least for this example. To do that, just click on the crop button up here, the drop down and crop. And this will give you some handles where you can resize the picture. So I'll just drag this one over until it looks like it's about square and then click out of it. Double click again. You'll see I'm getting closer 4.33 by 4.5. I'll do another crop until I get this just right. Very close. If you're getting really close, you can just come up here to size and click the little tiny arrow right here on the bottom for advanced layout. And then you can deselect this lock aspect ratio and change the size right up here to be 4.33. If you had that aspect ratio locked, it would actually make the height shorter as well. But now they're both 4.33, so this should be perfectly square. Now at the moment, this is just in Word, but we need to save it as a separate picture. So right click on it, go to save as picture. I'll browse to the same location where the original one is, but then I'll name this dash square. And then back to our original Christmas card document. Everything we just did was just to resize the picture. Again, you might not need that for your template, but good tip to know. So here I'm just gonna do a control Z, which is gonna undo inserting the picture from earlier. And then we'll go through these steps again where we right click, come up to fill, picture, from a file, and then we'll grab that square version. And that looks much better now. All right, now at the moment we're still in the header. You'll see that here from the header indication. 
You can either just double click somewhere else on the document or you can also close header and footer up here, which will take you back to this main part of the document. Now you probably want to put a message in here as well, a Christmas message. I've got one on my clipboard, so let me paste that in. Obviously you can make it whatever you want. And that's basically it. Make sure you save the document and then send it to the printer or email or whatever you want to do. But that's a really easy way to get your Christmas cards done right here in Word, absolutely free. If you like this kind of content, check out the other videos on my channel and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.